can we actually learn from our infrastructure failures? We better learn. <laughs> I mean, learning is the name of what this site is all about. We would better learn. I mean, our failures, though, are a failure to reinvest. And there we can learn several things about change that are, in, that are parts of the lessons that I teach companies, I teach individuals, mm. I teach students. One is that maintenance is not a vision. You can't ah. get people rallied behind, let's repair something that's broken. There's, that's true. <laughs> there's a human tendency to want to abandon it right. rather than fix it. So maintenance isn't a vision. We're not going to get people to support investment just because it's broken. Mm. Um, we need a bigger vision. So that's a lesson about, universal lesson about leadership. Also, it's not a vision to talk about immediate benefits without thinking about what's a long-term strategy. So maintenance isn't a vision, repair isn't enough. I talk about three R's in MOVE. We need to repair, renew, and reinvent. And you know, that would be a good lesson for corporate strategy too, that you don't just fix. Every time you fix, you try to improve and you also try to dramatically reinvent it. So the hopeful sign is actually technology. The smartphone wireless networks may help us reinvent transportation in particular. Wow, how is, how is that? Well, we already see that the smartphone is meeting the smart road. Roads with sensors now can provide data over wireless networks to manage traffic. We can use our smartphones, which are really not that many years old. This is a 21st century innovation that can help us leap into a new system. So our smartphone can be used to summon, to get, to find a shared car. So you don't have to own a car. Mm -hmm. You can get a ride, you can find out where it is, you can unlock it, jump in, and there you are. We can use it to summon a ride. So new business models, Uber and Lyft, mm -hmm. We can use it to find parking. And it turns out, while I say in the book that parking apps are not gonna change the world, the fact is they might because a large amount of the congestion we face in cities, which is a huge sore spot for entrepreneurs and business leaders who mm -hmm. can't get around, a lot of the congestion is for people, from people driving around looking for parking. Mm -hmm. And if they could easily match car to space, assuming they still have a car, then that will reduce traffic. And so there's lots of ways, and we're only at the beginning of learning this. I happen to really love an app that was developed by the city of Boston, so by a city <laughs> government with entrepreneurs. Oh. It's called Street Bump. And that app, if, can, if your car is connected, it detects potholes from the vibrations Amazing. of the car. That sensors. Amazing. So, you don't even have to call it in. Your car is telling the city transportation department that they'd better come and fix those battles. Intelligence, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> well, that, it's also learning. I mean, the machines are yeah. gonna be learning for us in some wow. ways. 